Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my cancers, and this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my Guardian Angel Messages Tarot Deck, and to clarify, I'll be using my Angel Wisdoms Tarot Deck. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. To everyone stopping by, darlings, I welcome you all with open arms and an open heart. Please know I deliver you these messages from my heart to your heart always. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Okay, babies? So, Cancer, let's see what message or messages we have for you. So Cancer, this is for you. The Five of Fire, past energy, some conflict might have been internal. However, there was mental clarity or maybe the communication you were waiting for. We got the Wise Counselor. You gained some knowledge from whatever the situation was. You found some balance. Now, that was the past energy. This here, you found balance. The page of air, truthful and outspoken communication, straightforward, you know, I mean, it wasn't like you didn't beat around the bush. You just said what you had to say. The justice card, finding balance. This is the karma card. Basically, what you give out, you shall receive. If you set out with integrity, you shall always win. We have the moon. Maybe things were, were being revealed to you or maybe you started using your intuition. You got the king of water. I say that's you, Cancer, feeling all emotionally balanced. And you got the dreamer. There's a fresh new start here. Got to take the leap of faith. So let's see. We're going to clarify. Abundance. Abundance of arguing in the past. Let's see, so the Empress flew out. That's about abundance. Now this is above the five of fire. We got the page of water and the strength card also. So maybe what it means is that you overcame whatever this conflict was. Um, it brought in abundance. You started using your intuition and opening up your heart and you found your personal strength. You got the Empress, you have the page of cups and you have the strength card on top of the five of fire. Then you have the ace of air. On top of the Ace of Air, which is about mental clarity or communication, you got the Page of, you got the Page of Swords. Okay, so the Page of Swords is the same as Page of Air, and that's about truthful and outspoken, straightforward, no beating around the bush kind of communication. Now, this communication brought in some kind of balance here, but also brought in, oh, it brought in some heavy things for you. Um, we got the Page of Swords here. This is the, uh, it's the information that you need to hear. You needed to hear whatever it was that needed, or you need to say whatever it was that needed to be said. Whatever it was, you brought in some balance here. We got the justice card, and you did set out with integrity. However, something with this situation here made you feel kind of heavy, like things were too much. You were working really, really hard and trying to figure out how things were going to happen because of the decision that you made and the balance that you brought into your environment. It was like if you wanted something and then when you got it, you realized it was really gonna be heavy. But this is past, okay? You got mental clarity on the situation and you found balance. 
You got the Page of Swords, you have the Justice card, and you have the Ten of Wands. Then you have the Wise Counselor. You gained, <coughs> you gained knowledge from this situation. And that came really, really fast. With a lot of, you were very impulsive when you did this, whatever happened. And you didn't, I don't think you expected to be this impulsive. But things started happening very fast for you. And there was a lot of passion involved here. And it might have had something to do with a new financial opportunity for you. Um, maybe that something to do with money, a new job. Um, increase of finances, though. We got the Ace of um, Pentacles. So we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Knight of Wands, and we have the Ace pentacles a windfall of abundance came in pretty fast after whatever took place here took place after you gained the knowledge that you needed to gain <coughs> then we have the balance card compromise self-control moderation something about the past here something about the past we have the six of cups we have the magician and we have the six of wands so the Six of Cups is about the past. It could be memories from the past or maybe somebody from the past came back. I don't know. Only you can tell me. We got the Magician. Oh my goodness. You are filled with magic within and in your surroundings, darlings. You have all the resources you need to accomplish anything and everything you desire. But be mindful. Set out with your heart wide open and set out in love. Set out with integrity and you shall always win, darlings. And you will be successful. We got the Six of Wands here. So we got the Six of Cups here. It might be something from the past. Only you know. You got the Magician. Very magical. And the Six of Wands. Success. Victory is yours. And now we got the Page of Air. <clears throat> On top of the Page of Air, we got the Queen. <laughs> On top of the page of air, we got the Queen of Wands. We have the Two of Wands, and we have the Six, the Six of um, Pentacles. So it seems like you got some pretty straightforward communication from a fire energy. That could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Whatever it was, you had to make a choice. You got the Two of Wands. Okay, you had to make a decision, well, or a choice. Well, am I gonna go here or am, or am I gonna go there? What am I gonna choose? You know. Um, this communication was straightforward. It was basically an ultimatum, you know. Um, you are the only, you, the ball is in your court. It's up to you what happens next. And whatever it was that you decided, it brought in balance. You got the paid, you got the queen of wands. You have the two of wands and you have the six of pentacles. And then you got the justice card. Fairness, law, karma. You found balance, balance, but there's also a little bit of conflict going on. You found balance, you found balance or moderation somewhere. Oh, I the book. Um, you found the balance. Something about the past and the current situation. You found you found a way to balance it. This is new for you. We got the Ace of Cups. This could be a new emotional feeling. It's a new experience for you, but it's bringing some conflict in your environment. But I don't know who the conflict is coming from. It's causing some kind of conflict for you, but I don't know who the conflict is coming from. We got the Balance card. We got the Ace of Cups. And it could be new love too. It could be new love. But this is something from the, someone from the past. Maybe it's brand new. Maybe you decided you were going to start over. Maybe you saw some positive changes. You know, I don't know. Um, and it is brand new. It's a new emotional feeling, whatever it is. You got the balance card. You have the eight of cups and you have the five of wands, which is about conflict. But who are you having a conflict with? Okay, so revelations using your intuition. Who are you having a conflict with here? Oh, an ending. Maybe, okay. With another, oh, you, you're having a conflict with um, another water energy. 
I got the release card. I threw, okay, because I'm really curious because the next three cards that came up was the sun, the chariot, and well, the, the chariot and the five of pentacles. But I wanted to see like who, you know, what this arguing was about. This has to do with, I think you're having an argument with another water energy. Another Pisces, a, a, a Pisces, a Cancer, another Cancer or a Scorpio. There's something there and there's, I don't know, I get the feeling of like a, like an ending, you know? Like an argument, like, you know, but it's not, it's, it doesn't feel romantic there. Anyway, so we're going to continue on. <clears throat> I just wanted to, I just wanted to see what came up there. So, on top of the moon, which is about your intuition and secrets being revealed, whatever it is, um, the revelations brought in some happiness. It came in pretty fast, but at the same time, it got you worried and it got you in the mindset of lack. Now, it could be this arguing here and, you know, whatever this ending, this arguing with this other water energy. You know, it's got you in your head worrying about stuff. Ah, you got the king of water here as well. So, you have the sun, you have the chariot, and you have the five of pentacles. That's negative thoughts, okay? But it's temporary. What's going on there is temporary. You got the star card, you got the five of pentacles. It's some, somebody, a family member you're arguing with. Um, you got the star card, you got the five of wands, and you got the ten of um, cups. Everything is going to work out. Everything will settle down. Things will come back together, okay? This is, this is a conflict. Uh, it's not nothing you can't overcome. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep the faith and the hope alive. You hear me? You got this. Y'all got this, okay? Positive vibrations, all right? We raise in vibrations. We ain't bringing them down. So we got the star, we got the five of wands, and we have the ten of cups. And the ten of cups, <clears throat> the ten of cups is about happy family. You got the dreamer, you got a fresh new start here. You got the seven of wands, you got the seven of swords, and you got the dreamer. And no matter what, there's a, there's a new beginning. Whatever it was, you're above these challenges wherever, where this sneakiness or, or confusion or, or burden or whatever that feeling was that you were feeling, the arguing, the conflict, the ending, whatever it was that happened here, the conflicts are over, okay? You're going to overcome things. You're above your challenges. You're facing them, all right? You're overcoming many things. Believe in yourself. You can overcome anything you desire. Okay, Cancer? Remember, you're the mother. You're the nurturer. You got a new beginning at hand, too. Fresh new start, baby. You got the seven of wands. You got the seven of swords as well. And you got the fresh new start. I see that no matter what, you're going to overcome whatever negativity that was trying to get involved here. Okay? And your wishes are going to come true. You're going to make the decisions that you need to make. Whatever it is, that romance that was coming in for you, it seems like it's coming in. You just have to make the decision. Your wishes and your dreams come true. The Knight of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. I love you, darlings, and I definitely will chat with you soon. <laughs>